guys, it's the Prickly Crafter. Um, I'm trying to do an intro. We'll see how this goes. Uh, uh, this video is going to have all haul. Just all the haul you could ever imagine. Um, this is going to hopefully include my mega haul that I got, or I call it the mega haul because I don't have a lot of stuff. Um, include my mega haul and my Christmas slash designer's desk haul. Um, I have no idea how long it's going to be, so if you don't like haul, don't watch the video. If you like haul, watch the video. Um, there are some sections that get a little shaky. Um, I think I dropped the camera once. And there's a surprise visitor from a cat. Silly cat. Um, so hopefully you like this. I know I've been saying I'm going to keep doing this over and over again, so... Hopefully you like it, and continue watching. Alright guys, let's get started with all this fun stuff. Okay, so in this mega haul, I definitely won't be using all of this, so some of it is actually not here. Um, I ended up putting some of it on stash unload because I can't hold this much stuff in a two-bedroom apartment, but most of it provided the cat. Hi, Bella. Um, Bella, kitty. Bella. Yeah, good job. If you point at her, she meows. It's kind of cool. Anyways, back to stitching. So this is just some of, of, I guess, the mega haul. So most of it is fabric. So this is just a giant bag of, like, smaller pieces. Hi, Bella. <sighs> this is going to be fun. <laughs> I'm not used to having interference. You're not helping. Um, so this is just some of it that I spread out. It's mostly like neutrals, but there are some sparkles. Oh my gosh, Bella. Really? Goodness. She's probably going to hiss at me too. Um, and all of it's labeled, which is awesome. Oh my gosh, there is a cat standing on my fabric. Okay, so we'll take a look at a couple pieces. I won't go through everything with you. Um, but yeah, and see those three? That's also fabric. Um, sh the lady, yeah, <laughs> sorry, she didn't laugh, but that was a really loud thud. Um, sorry for those who get motion sick. I would advise being careful watching this video. Uh, at least for now. Um, here is some of the smaller counts. So it's like 32 to 28. A lot of this stuff I think I can see myself using. It's going to be great. Um, not only do we have neutrals, we have colors. Woo! I'm so excited. Um, I've already dipped into some of this. A lot of these pieces are just smaller. Um, I mean, it's still 18 by 28 is that piece. And, I don't know. I, the possibilities are endless. Like, I'm so appreciative of my friend, uh, her mom, uh, saw this and immediately thought of me. Like, you have no idea how grateful I am. Um, because fabric's always been my problem. I don't tend to hoard fabric until now. Um, there's just a ton. Determine. Plum blossom. I mean, it's just insane. Like I said, it's both a mega haul and not a mega haul. I mean, in terms of fabric, yes. Oh my gosh, yes. But... I have no idea how I'm, I mean, keeping those in the bins, obviously, but I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get all those back to my apartment. <laughs> Sorry guys, you have to do it, I'm cleaning up a little bit. Uh, the other thing, there's two more things that I, well, three more, I guess. Um, what I'm not gonna show is, uh, I got a bunch of, uh, interfacing and batting as well. And I'm planning on keeping those for project bags and stuff. So, I'm not going to show that though. You guys kind of know what interfacing and batting looks like. Um, moving on to threads. 
Okay, I used to see that. Weeks that I work. These are all weeks. They're all in bags. And it came with a thing. Yeah, that's a lot of weeks that I work. So a lot of my projects have recently been done in weeks. Um, I'm not going to pull all these out. I mean, I'll pull some of them. Some of them are old. Like, it's crazy. Um, I've never had so many weeks in my life. Okay, sorry. Um, the other thing it came with are these lovely things. Yeah, these are boxes. My phone is ringing. I'm going to ignore it. Sorry, Mom. It's probably my mom. Who can't see what I'm grabbing for the video. Um, this is a the anchor box. Yeah, anchor box. Turn that puppy around. So these boxes are really cool. They open like so. Yes, it has this. And they're on these giant covers. My hands are too shaky for this. Sorry, guys. New medication. What can I say? Um, come on these big bobbins, which is pretty cool. Some of them have been pre-cut, but it's not a big deal to me because it's about the same length I use, so I don't have a problem with it. Um... Yeah, and let me get this. So this particular box is also really cool because more. Ta -da. So I have this for Anchor, and I have this for DMC as well. The DMC is in the other room because I was using it. Um, hey, functionality, using it. Uh, so, but I am planning on keeping that. Hi, Hi Bella. Bella. Yeah. <laughs> Show cat. Anyways. You just doesn't do it for me, so that's what that is. She knows what it is. So the last part of this part of the mega haul um, is this. You see all these flossway bags? Yeah. Try not to get these out of order. Mill Hill glass seed beads. Heck yeah. Not all of them, but a lot of them. They're all labeled Crystal Pink 02018. Yeah, I pulled projects out of these already. Um, it's been great. I mean, I, I've heard that the room was bigger. And she just grabbed a couple of things for me is what I was told. A couple of things is what I'm wanting to know what there's more of. Um, but all of this is going to come back to Colorado with me. So, look forward to seeing more projects because I have fabric now. Um, I've already got a couple of them pulled back here for a few new starts. I've got at least five new starts. So, yeah. Alright. That's the mega haul. Actually, false. Just kidding. Wait. Sorry. I'm going on a road trip, guys. So, I can't believe I forgot this part silly me. Alright, so here's another box. Here's another box. These, you guys, are in stash unload. I know that I shouldn't get rid of them, but I'm going to. Because I don't have room. So, this is Eva Rosenstand and, uh, what is it? Clara... Wait for it. Wait for it. Clara Weaver. Um, flower thread. On the same bobbins, all labeled. Some teens. But great stuff, nonetheless. Um, I don't remember. I think there's 110 skeins in here. I think. Um, I did get some DMC flower thread that I was already able to sell, um... Because I'm getting quantum frames. What? So I kept asking Garrett so many questions. Um. Because I was like, I don't know what to do. Thanks, Garrett, by the way, if you're watching my videos. And I also have the Jenny Thompson uh, flower thread. And I have some linen thread. Um. Also on stash unload. So. 
I just, I don't use flower thread. So if you're interested, hop over there, take a look, see what you think. Yeah, but this, again, mega haul. These boxes are amazing. I need to see how many regular bobbins fit into them. Because I already have these. I mean, <laughs> they're pretty sweet. I might not keep the boxes either, actually. I don't know yet. I'm indecisive, guys. But regardless, I'm really grateful that my friend was able to snag these. Um, I've never heard of either one of these. So that's kind of cool. New things, new learning. Um, but yeah, that's part of my, the mega haul, and hopefully I'll be splicing in my regular haul in after this video. If not, it's nice talking to you all, and I'll talk to you later. Hey guys, I am back, at least I think I'm back. Oh, yeah, we're back. Um, I have my regular haul that I got for Christmas and from Designer's Desk. Um, this is just the cross stitching stuff. This is nothing to do with knitting. Um, so if you're interested in that, that's going to go in a different video because it's not cross stitch. So I'm going to go through all of this. I alluded to it in my last video, um, kind of what, what was going on with that. Um, there's still some pieces I know you guys haven't seen, but you'll figure it out pretty quickly um, when I start working on them. So hopefully the video right before this was the Mega Haul. Um, I'm going to try to splice together a video. So if you're actually watching the spliced video, be impressed. Um, so I have some pieces of fabric and some beads out with patterns um, because I have them. Um, hi Bella. If you saw the last part, you'll know that she's tracking me around the house. <laughs> um, silly cat. So, this is one of the pieces, we'll just get started. Uh, this is one of the pieces I got uh, last time I was here in Illinois over the break. So, July. Yay! Uh, this is uh, Mirabilia Sushnar Corbett's Gypsy Queen. Yep. I think you've all seen this one by now, but hey, Gates, I'm showing something new. And I already have the fabric picked out for it. It's going to go on this. It is a light mocha Kesha linen, so it's a little bit lighter than what it calls for in the pattern, but you got to use this up. It's fabric up. Why buy fabric? Um, I don't have to. This is going to be a very quick go through, hopefully, um, in case you don't like haul. This is all haul video, so hopefully if you don't like haul, you're not watching. Um, but you're welcome to. I'm just going to stop talking. So, another one that I got. Snapdragon! She's a little bit newer, so I'll hold this one up a little bit longer. Um, I was so excited. This one I got for Christmas from my mom. Um, I gave her my one, two, three stitch wish list, and she looked at it, she's like, holy cow, how do you have so many things? And I was like, sorry, whoever, I just got totally motion sick. I tried to put it behind me. That'll teach me. Um, anyways, before catastrophic failure, I'm not going to even edit that out. I don't care. Um, she did not. She's like, how? Like, how do you have so many things? Um, and this is a little preview, I guess, since I like doing those now. This, I don't even know which way's up anymore. Uh, I'll go with my needle minder. This is how much I have started. Uh, my dad's been trying to use my stretcher rods, or he's intrigued by the design of my Just a Thought uh, frames. So he's been borrowing them. At least the stretcher part just to figure it out because he takes apart computers and puts them back together and apparently my needlework has sparked his interest. Love you, Dad. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's a whole project. Um, so that's Snapdragon. I got that, like I said, for Christmas. Um, thanks, Mom. Um, I got a bunch of stuff from her. Uh, next one that I got for Christmas 
is Ink Circles. Um, Namaste. Namaste? Yeah. I'm not sure if I have a piece for this yet. I may have found one. I'm not sure. But look how cool those are. They're really pretty. And it's all, um, that it all has the, I can show this part, the DMC on what size they would be on the finished design size for each of them. So I really like them. And so it's on my wish list. So, alright, we're going to try this again. Next one. It's already in a project folder. Oh no, I forgot a bunch of stuff. You're going to have to wait. Whoops. So, I also got this for Christmas. So, in case I've... Here we go. In case I've never discussed it, which I think I did in an earlier video, um, I have, well, I've had um, several hedgehogs, so I've had, I had three at one point, like all three, not in the same cage, just, I had three hedgehogs, um, and now I'm down to one, his name is Omar, and I think I've talked about him a bunch of times. So, I came up with my channel name, if you haven't seen my video, um, the Prickly Crafter um, is off of, based off of like my hedgehogs. And my mom saw this on my wish list because it has a hedgehog on it. Like, I needed it. She knows I love them. And it's really cool. So it came with the buttons as well. Um, it has anchor, it has weak sty works. Um, what is that abbreviation? Gentle arts with the DMC and anchor conversions. So I'm going to see. There are three. I know I don't have mascara. Um, so I'll probably actually use the anchor, probably, um, and if in doubt, I'll use the DMC, so, and I got a piece of fabric for that as well, from my mega hoe, it's gonna go on this lighter blue, it's a big piece, so it's not gonna be this big, fabric modeling, um, It's a linen in French blue um, by Witchell. It's not too stiff, but stiff enough. And it's in 30 count. So hopefully the buttons will still work. Um, is that actually what it called for? Oh, yeah. So it's in 30 count linen is what the back of the chart says. So I'll be good, I think. Let's put this, you guys are going to have to deal with me putting it all back because I had practically trashed my parents' house with crafting. Um, so the least I can do is put it back in a nice little container thingy. And, and I got these from office supply store. They're just single envelopes. They're good for small stuff. Um, next one. For Christmas, my mom knows me too well. Petal Fairy, Joe, and I don't know if you watch my videos or not, um, but the one you were talking about that's the companion to this one is called Bliss Fairy, um, which I do have right here. Bliss Fairy. Um, the Bliss Fairy. Sorry. Um, I saw that. I was like, I know which one that is because I have it. Um, I'm not very far on it. But, how far I am. I actually worked on this piece a couple of days ago. Just a little. Um, so that's that one. But, anyways. I don't know who. Petal Fairy. So excited to work on this. And again, I grabbed some fabric that needs to get cut down. It's a light blue. Again, it's Forget Me Not Blue, and it's a 28 count Jobelin. Um, it's a mega piece. Um, I'll have plenty of scrap left over to do something else on this as well, but 
it's soft. It's so soft. I'm just like manhandling the fabric. Um, but I will need to cut that down. There are some like, she did, the previous owner put these little grids in there. We'll see if I keep them or not. I generally don't like doing that. Unless I do. Um, This is my mom's iPad, and little notifications pop up. I'm like, what is this? Anyway. So. Alright. That was my Christmas cross-stitch haul. My mom was... <laughs> she knows I love crafting, so she got me a bunch of um, other, like, knitting needles and stuff like that for me, because it's new, a new hobby. But... We also went to Designer's Desk, um, again, before they closed. Um, they are, she's still open. Let me grab the back. Um, yeah. Hmm. So if you need to get a hold of her, um, she's still open. I think, pretty much I went because she wasn't keeping the cross stitch stuff. Which makes me sad. If I could have bought everything, I would have. So, stuff was 75% off. You heard that right. 75% off cross stitch. So, I came home with a lot of things. A many a things. And my mom got me some things. And, uh, I love my mom. She's great. So, we'll start with... Not have that one in there. We'll start with some little ones, stuff that's in the packaging. Um, so you guys know I completed Snowy String. Um, it's right over there. I could just show you the real thing, but this is a chart for it. Um, it's a Lizzie Kate snippet. Well, I got a couple more of the snippets because I love them. So one of them I got for seventy-five percent off. It's called Kitty String. kitty string and I'm hoping to give that one to my parents and then I also got um, one called ready for snow it's part of the snow bells series but I don't have the rest but I have um, ready for snow I thought it was cute I love snowmen I had a problem but that's okay. Oh, part of what else my mom got me for Christmas was some Karen Water Lilies and some Threadworks thread. I think they're for my needlepoint. Don't actually know. I, that's what I hate about 123's wish list is I can't tell you what project they're for. So I need to go home, check, and see if they're for my needlepoint. I'm fairly certain the Threadworks is for my needlepoint. This one is in a pattern that I have with me, so if in doubt, it'll just go to that. Um, and it's um, at the Met, because I have that. Um, anywho. So, the basement had, like, 50% off stuff. Okay, who keeps texting me? I'm just going to leave it. So I got some whisper thread. Um, I want to do that Mirabilia bumblebee. Um, and I need, I think it's brown whisper thread. This is kind of a reddish brown, but I don't care. We're going with it. It's brownish red. Don't care. It's fuzzy. Kind of see it. So I got that. Also from the basement, I picked up some sparkly sparkles. Got some Krennic. Um, this is number eight braid. Yeah, all three of these are number eight braid. Um, this one is three nine three. It's pretty accurate, I would say. It's got some more blue in it. This one is zero three four. Pretty accurate. And this guy is zero nine five, and that is a hundred percent accurate. Um, yeah, so I got those. I should just put these all back in the bag. Do 
these back together. Uh, next one. Then I got it is another ink circles. It's called the Reflections of Paris. And this was on my 123 wish list and I saw it and I was like I need to have this. And it's 75% off so why get it from 123 stitch. So I'm really excited for this one. Um I know there's fabric in there for it, so that'll probably be a mania start if I have enough spot, spot, spot for mania. Um, I do have spots because I didn't do some on days last year, but that, I don't know if that's cheating. Can you cheat at cross stitch? I mean, I guess you can, but whatever. Um, something else my mom got me was more fabric. Um, it's called Liberty Fabric by Liberty Street Designs, and it is a hand-painted, and it's called Perfectly Plump, and it is a fat quarter. It's a really nice purple. Um, I'm really excited. No idea what I'm going to do on it. Something for my mom. What? I don't know. <laughs> Haven't quite gotten there yet. Uh, next one. Oh, I'm missing another one. I'm going to have to go get that stuff. Next one. So, I have my steampunk fish project somewhere in this bag. Steampunk fish. Yep, yep. Um, he came with the beads that go with it as well. I was able to grab some lamb's wool linen and a lot of the um, wheat thigh works as well. Um, I think I'm still missing some. And I'll probably just do a DMC substitution for it. Because, yeah, because. Um, and I have a steampunk cat needle minder. But I actually did get a steampunk fish from um, Julie at Nifty Needle Nanny. And they should be on their way to Colorado. Um, so that's good. This is going to get switched off of this project and onto the one I'm going to show you. But I have this steampunk cat. Come on. He's adorable. But we're going to put him back. Nah, we won't put him back in there yet. So I have that one, but I also managed from Designer's Desk to get its companion piece. And this is the sea, uh, steam, <laughs> steam Punk Sparrow um, by Sam Sarah Design Studio. So I got this one as well, and it came... with the little beads. Try not to show that too long. Um, as well. So I'll have both. And the little steampunk cat's gonna go on that one. Because I can. Uh, next one I got. Prairie Schooler. Little Red Riding Hood. I love these. I love Prairie Schooler. They're like some of my favorite things. Um, I'm gonna probably do this one as well. I'm actually really excited for that one. And it does come with it. Um, it's only three colors. That'll be easy. Who knows? Maybe I'll start that too. I need to stop starting, guys. Um, you'll see in my whip video, some of these have been started um, that I'm showing you. Uh, and I'm going to talk about 2017 plans in a whip video, not here. So just keep an eye out for that. It'll be coming hopefully soon. But that's a little bit red riding hood. And the last one that I have right here is World Peace Angel. And I thought that was very fitting and I really liked it. Um, I love lavender and lace patterns. Um, I mean I have 
several that I need to get started. Um, Angel of Love as well is literally right next to you guys. Uh, but that's that one. This is a beefy chart. Beefy. Um, and it's actually in color, which I thought, I mean, there's like color symbols, which I've never seen before. So that's exciting. So I need to go look for these Mill Hills, and I need to get some Petite Treasure Braid. Um, and I've never used Petite tre Treasure Braid, so that ought to be interesting when I can get that kitted up. Alright, so you guys are going to have to wait one second. Stare at my mom's couch. Hold on, time out. Sitting here while I text people. Sorry, Shandani, I was doing a video. Alright, so the last one I got from Designer's Desk. There's two more things from Designer's Desk, but this is the last chart. I got the letters Mermaid. Letter K. Hi, my name's Kane. Um, and I'm super excited. By Nora Corbett. Ah! So excited. Um, I didn't pay attention to see that it's all done in classic color works. Um, so. Because I'm a derp. But I'm working on converting it to some weeks and the DMC. That's what I have done so far. I think I have some of them, but I have to go find them. And I do actually have some of the beads for it from the Mega Hall. Now, I'm really excited. So, I should just leave this out. Letter K. I have to decide. Do I put it on... A Bell 32 count Belfast linen by Norden Crafts in Blue Fusion. Deeper than all. So I put it on this. Or do I put it on uh, Tempest from Picture This Plus um, in a 28 count? instead. I don't know. I kind of like the idea. Okay, so the this guy. Or none of the above. I can probably find something. But I kind of want to do it on the hand dyed. Um, this is a greener background, sort of. But it doesn't mute the tail colors. Or I'm worried this might mute it a little bit. Unless I can find, like, a lighter section like that. I don't know. I got this piece, and this is a yard and a bit. A yard and a bit. I'll just leave that right there. Right there, I'll just leave that. And then, or do I put it on this guy? It's got some more pinks in it. And it's kind of blue. It's about a yard as well. Yeah. I went to designer's desk, guys. <laughs> Don't ever let me do that. Um, thanks, Mom, for getting these for me. She also got me this really cute duck needle minder that is somewhere on a project already. I don't recall which one at the moment. Um, I brought like 20 projects with me and started a bunch when I got here. Mainly hates. Why did I need to start two hates when I was here? Because I can. 
silly me. All right, the next, the last bit is actually a Goodwill haul. Um, we went there because I had to go to the restroom, to be honest. And the place that we were at, we were getting sushi and their bathroom was out of commission. So, yeah. So I'm just going to, sorry for the crinkles if it bothers you. I'm just going to pull all this out here. That should tell you how much it is. So we went to Goodwill. And... I was looking actually at some Vera Bradleys because I put my knitting projects in them. Because they're from Goodwill and I can afford them that way. Okay. So I was able to come up with, while there, Mill Hills. Yep. Numbers are all visible even better. So I got some more Mill Hills. Just in case. I also was able to come up with a couple of these jewel effects. Let's take this sticker off of them. Because nobody needs that. I mean, I don't. Take them to my pants like I always do. So I got two of these guys. I know a lot of us despise these, but why not have them just in case? So the light effects. So I got those for like nothing. <sighs> yeah. Mill Hill kits. Let's begin. So I got this cute little bird. It's pretty, pretty cute. Um, he's called Apple Blossom uh, Bluebird. So this will be an Easter thing for me because it looks Eastery. I then got Autumn Harvest 6. A little bit. Those are 99 cents, by the way. Got this little moon with pumpkin. Let him go. I'm harvest four. Little scarecrow. Look at him go. Also 99 cents. Um, unrelated to Mill Hill, I got some DMC for 50 cents for all of these. What if I need a lot? I don't know. Then, I got a button bead kit for, yes, $1.99. And it is unopened, so it does come with the beads and the perforated paper. And I got one more. Look at that. Cooking up magic. I'm so excited for this one. It is also unopened. Comes with everything. The little buttons down there. So excited when I found this. I was like, this is mine. This is mine. Uh, I was so excited. Because, I mean, we know. Those things are a little pricey. I mean, for a poor college student who doesn't have their mom funding stuff for me. But she knows. I also got these old circular knitting needles. These are old. Why not? And some other stuff, including like threads and whatever. I am a mini crafts. Some more things to make row counters. Um, I think that's it. I think. And I got some Mill Hill beads when I was there. Where did those go? I don't know. I'll find them later. Um, <laughs> those aren't important. Those were for a project. That's like why I went to designer's desk was I needed a pack of beads. So... Yeah. Wait. There's more. I forgot about this guy. So I showed this in my last video as a sneak peek, but I did get Hannah's Brownstone by the Scarlet House um, in Northern Crafts. 
and I did start this one already so that is cool um, and it came in this bubbly little pouch thingy which after I'm done with the project will probably end up housing scissors and other things um, but I did start this one so where's our purple stuff purple fuzz all over my project I don't know no idea but you'll see that in my whip video suspense is killing you isn't it hopefully I'll record that in the next couple of days not today probably or maybe today I gotta clean this up though so all right that is all I have hopefully I was able to splice together this video um, if not you'll see it in two different ones um, I'll see you guys soon thank you for subscribing um, Tell me if you like stuff, the videos in different sections, um, and I'll do my best. And that's all I have, so I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.